Hello, my name is Helen and a very warm welcome to my channel. In this video, John, the garden owner, very kindly takes us on a journey through his very interesting and unique garden. It has references to a novelist and playwright, a brand new arboretum, towering 100 year old hedges and a fountain garden to name a few. I would be delighted if you would like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of my next video. Thank you so much. Join me as I chat with John. So good afternoon everybody and very welcome to my channel. I'm here with John this afternoon who is the owner of this amazing garden. Hello John and can you tell me a little bit about your garden, the history of it perhaps to start with? Well yes it, it was um, created we think about a hundred years ago um, wow. by mm -hmm. a novelist and playwright who lived here called Temple Thurston um, and uh, so we think basic structure of the garden dates from his time um, and then in more recent years it was uh, owned by some people whose main interest was for the horses and we're, we're standing here near the stable block. Yes that's that right, built. the stables um, are behind us actually. And uh, everywhere really was, was turned over to paddock apart from the, the rose garden around the um, uh, around the water garden uh, and so we um, with the help of a, a wonderful then young gardener Edward Flint um, began to um, rethink it uh, and uh, with his help we created a number of new areas in the garden including the one we're looking at that yes. has um, the three elements of the, the vegetable. garden here, the swimming pool area there and uh, the, the, the garden at the end which, which has uh, grasses with, with willows growing through and uh, uh, a stream of um, Heliagnus um, quicksilver uh, growing up um, on the trellis at the back, uh, which gives us the, 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 the combination of the, of the Heliagnus with, with the olive behind and then the, the snow gum tree above mm -hmm. are, um, uh, I think, quite quite striking. They give a depth to this area yes. that you wouldn't get otherwise. Yes. And when um, I actually walked down to the end there, yes. the, um, there was a breeze coming through and oh, you yes. could hear that lovely noise of the grass. And it was just beautiful yeah. going all the way through there. Yeah. It's a very calming part of the garden, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. So there's lots of different elements to the there garden. Are, yes. Is there a particular part that you like to work in, perhaps? Or <laughs> um, a different part of the garden that gives you inspiration? Well, well, I think the, 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 this is the most interesting modern area of, of the, the older parts of the garden. I think the water garden, which perhaps we might go to afterwards, is, mm. is, also has a, a, a very particular character yes. to it. I mean, again, you can see some elements. Well, there are elements of formality, but equally there, there are more relaxed aspects to it as well, which yes. we, we've introduced. Mm. Um, so I think that's a particularly nice area. The area that's been giving me most interest uh, in the last few years is, is this small arboretum that I created just uh, beyond the, uh, the, the garden fence, as yes, it were, which, uh, right. which I planted 100 trees of different yes. varieties. Yes, and I, I know you've got some oak in there, oak, um, oak they're quite and small, and yes. but that's going to be such a legacy to leave. Well, I think so, well. yes. I mean, it would be interesting to see what it looks like in 10 years' yes. time. We'll then begin to see whether it's going to be too dense or, or, or whether we've got the balance right. Yeah, so knows. when you thought about putting some trees in there, yes. did you sit down with a piece of paper and plan it all out? No, I started with the tree nursery catalogue and decided what I wanted. <laughs> and then I got out the piece of paper and decided <laughs> where I was going to put them. Excellent. Um, but uh, no, it, uh, uh, there was a feeling of how many you can get in and um, what areas you want to leave open because um, the, the sunlight is very important yes. too. We, yes. we have two areas where the, the morning and evening sun are very important and so we don't mm. want them to be shaded by no. trees growing and, up. And I noticed that you put a, a new structure there for people to just sit down and just enjoy that part of, of the garden. Yes, it's well, so it, peaceful it, there. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, it, it's simply a replacement for a, a summer house that had become rather 
rotten and fragile and, yeah. and, and was a delta coup de grace by Storm Eunice <laughs> earlier this, this year. Yes, but, I think some people have um, experienced different things in that storm that yes. came through not so long ago. Yeah, I think it's given us a five-year supply of fire. So <laughs> as two large ash trees came down on the edge of oh, the woods. Right. So yes. So yeah. they, they're sawn up now and they'll be... Uh, very good. Very good. So you're sorted now for the rest of I the winter for a while. I think we're sorted for a few seasons, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, let's move on to yeah, another so part of the garden, then, John. Thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank you. Garden we are, now, and right. this is quite a favourite of yours. It I is, think. well, very much so. I mean, when we came, it was purely a rose garden mm -hmm. around the uh, around around the water garden, which is, which is the rectangle. Um, and, and we've made two big changes, really. One one is to extend the water up into the uh, the next garden, so yes. there is now um, a, a fountain. For A rill that runs down and feeds into here, and then yes. you get to come back. Yes, because this is sort of like a natural slope. That it, it comes is, yes, down it's, here. It's, it's, You've it's made use of that. Feet high, yes, absolutely. And so that, that was one of our friends' ideas, mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it's, it's worked extremely well. Uh, the other thing we did was to, to change the planting a lot. Um, the roses have all been retained, but they're now underplanted with. Um, Hardy geraniums mm -hmm. and, and these and uh, euphorbia. Yes, now. and uh, the tulips at the, the moment. The tulips are spectacular. Moment, yes, which, Wonderful uh, colours. Yes, about 100 years ago, uh, and we believe came from Italy, um, is, is, a, is a very striking feature. Yes, it is. Um, and if, if, uh, and we, we now, in the summer, it's, it's, it's not a well, it's, it's purely a well head, but um, yes. we put succulent plants in during the summer and then can just about forget about them. Yes, yes, the that's something that you don't have to tend. It's just such a lovely spot to sit here, it isn't is, it? And yes. it doesn't matter which direction you look in. No. There's always beautiful. something wonderful to and see. And a feature we have when we open in July, the, these dioramas put up their wonderful, yeah, the angel's fishing rod. Mm -hmm. So the, these these shoots come out and, and they float above the um, above the uh, above the water garden and, and you people have to brush them aside as they, they walk through it. <laughs> and if you look up behind us there, you can mm -hmm. see a in, in the foreground, um, a rowan tree just going to flower, and that, that was self sown actually among the really? roots of a, a conifer that has been blown down in, uh, in the 87 storm. And up behind, a, a birch tree yes. uh, was planted in the early 1990s. Whatever. This, this, this is the, the birch grove that I just, just mentioned. Mm -hmm. and, um, these, these are trees, a mixture of common birch and Himalayan birch. Mm -hmm. um, This splendid carved owl is at the entrance to the orchard. This is a mixed orchard of apples, plums, cherries and cob nuts. Here are the most unusual hedges. They are about 100 years old. These towering structures are cut once a year in either September or October. They take about three days to cut. The fine structure of each hedge has remained unchanged, but the wavy contours have been allowed to develop from year to year. Well, it goes down yes, I mean, that's another a, thing grows up. Well, it's that's wonderful. the point, really, for, um, for our own purposes. The, um, the garden has it is a garden that's interesting every day of the year. That's yes. what we're trying to achieve. There's always something happening. There's always yes. something that will draw you out and yes. make it worth coming.
and everybody and talking to me today. Thank you, John. Bye bye. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel, and I do hope that you've enjoyed the tour of John's garden.